Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In today's episode, we are going to do a use case which is pretty common, especially when working with data extraction or web scrapping, which is to highlight the links in a given web page. You'll be given a web page and you'll be asked to extract the links and then probably highlight them in order to do some more data extraction or web scrapping. So today we are going to learn how to highlight links in a particular given web page. Let's get started. This is part 18 of the series. If you have missed out on the previous episodes, I'll request you to kindly go through them so that you have continuity and you master Puppeteer with me. Following are the topics that I've covered in detail with code examples and lot of use cases. Today we are learning how to highlight and visualize the links in a web page. Let's get started. So what are the methods that we will be using and learning? We'll be using launch method. We'll use new page, go to that is used for navigating to a URL. We'll also do some screenshot and we'll also use document.query selector and we'll also generate a PDF to visualize the links in a given web page. Without wasting time, let's jump right into the code. Alright, so I'm going to open episode 18. Again, this is blank page as it is from scratch we will do. So the first thing we'll do is puppeteer and we will do a require puppeteer. Once you have done that, probably we'll create a async method which would then say highlight <coughs> will pass a URL to it. So once anytime you are writing a async method, it's always a good practice to have the try catch so that you can handle errors gracefully. Unable to, to visualize links, links and throw in that error. Okay. That's the basic check. Again, we can add a lot of checks there, but this is the most basic you would require. All right, so the first thing we'll do is create a browser instance and say puppeteer dot launch. Now this can take uh, multiple parameters. You can also pass headless if you want it true or false. For now, we'll make it false. It's true by default. Then we'll create a page and say await dot new page. So we got our browser instance, we got our page. The next thing we'll do is have to navigate to that particular URL, which we will pass to the method here. All right, so once we have that, um, you we will do a screenshot or a capture, let's say, before we visualize. So I'm going to do a screenshot of that. And let's say the path to store that will be visualize page.png. That's the name of the file I want to store my before image, right? Before we actually highlight the images. The next thing we'll do is we can extract, right? So we'll have to do a page evaluate and we'll do page dot evaluate. And then what we'll do is in this, we will write a function to visualize and create those links. So I'm going to say links. Now, this is where we will use document dot query selector all and what we'll do is we will say get all the links in this particular page okay so we got the links now what we can do is for each we can loop right and we can extract so we get each link that we get so we are going to put style dot let's put a border across right and probably we'll throw in two pixels solid, um, say red color, and then we'll also put some more style and say background color equal to say yellow. Okay, so all we are doing is uh, for the links that we extracted from this particular page, which is through document dot query selector all, we are getting all the links and putting some styling for them. And once you have that style, then you can again do a screenshot of it to see the updated page. And I'm going to say path up 
updated links dot png okay so that's the one that we will do we can either close it here right so we can say await browser dot close so this will close the browser perfect so far so good so we are getting we are going to that particular page we are generating a screenshot before we highlight the links and then we are extracting all the links using query selector all looping through each of the link and highlighting them and then doing a screenshot of the updated one so far so good to run that we will write node episode 18 dot js and run it it won't work because we haven't called the method yet so let's call that highlight links and let's say http example.com okay and let's run that probably I'll also throw in this in a PDF if you would like so this is what it opens the page there's only one link here let's see so it looks like unable to visualize visualize page is undefined let's see why visualize page is undefined let's okay that's because it should be in quotes sorry about that all right okay so now we should have two one is visualize this is the screenshot we got before we highlighted the link this is the one that we get after we have extracted so that's how we can highlight any and all of the links in a web page okay now we can use a better um, say a URL let's say instead of example.com if you give something like yahoo.com this would can generate a better more with more data actually so let's see that in action as well it would be very heavy because there would be so many links that will be there in that particular web page right so let's go ahead visualize so this is a web page before we highlight the links and you see there are so many links in this particular web page so this is one of the way we can also throw in some more and we generate the screenshot if you would like you can throw in a you know um, PDF also of the same and you can evaluate that so again that's totally up to us um, um, you can just say away page dot PDF also and you can just say path updated links PDF so this would also generate a PDF for us again it's the same variation nothing uh, different it would just highlight before and the PDF output will have the links that are present in the page so this is how it will generate and it has generated the PDF uh, there is a, there should be a PDF viewer if you have one but again understand that this would show the similar output which is the web page with highlighted links okay classic example where you have to extract certain images links etc so you can use the same code in different variations and different forms important logic that we did here is to just evaluate the page we selected all the links and then process those links with a certain updated style and then we did a screenshot and PDF of the same right that's how you can highlight any links in a particular given web page in the next episode I'll show you how to identify some of the broken links in a web page when you're running puppeteer scripts chances are that you want to do some kind of validation of the data that is there in the web page one good example is the automation testing where we want to check whether if there are any links which are broken right so that's something that I'm going to cover it in the next episode I hope you're learning I hope you're enjoying the series please do hit that like button share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for joining I'll see you in the next episode Thank you.